watching, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It looks like somebody's watching, although it might just be my computer. I'm not sure. Uh, my name is Sharon Rogers, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Wells, Maine. And I usually come to you live at 7.30 on a Friday night. I call it my Friday night live. But tomorrow is Good Friday, and so I will be at church um, in observance of Good Friday. I'll be at a service. I was supposed to sing at the service uh, as part of the worship team, but as you can tell, my voice is not quite right. So there's going to be no singing for me from the platform tomorrow, um, and <laughs> probably not even uh, from within the congregation. Uh, it's just... Believe it or not, my voice is so much better than it was just a few days ago. I had almost nothing. Um, it was very frustrating and uh, very aggravating, but uh, I slept half a day Tuesday, all day yesterday, and I'm feeling much better. So anyway, I've got a couple cards for you tonight. They are Easter themed. Um, but I wanted to highlight a couple of things that are not, a couple of products that are not Easter themed, um, but they are disappearing. So I wanted to make sure that you know that as well. I'm going to turn you down and we're going to get started. Uh, don't forget that you can go ahead and um, pop on and let me know. I'm just trying to um, connect somehow. I thought I posted this in my... I'm sorry, I'm just looking around my phone to get onto my um, Facebook page so I can post it and watch it. I posted it, but I can't, it's not coming through. So I'm not exactly sure what happened. So we'll, we'll just see here. We'll see if people will, will, uh, will join me. But if you are watching, and I know somebody is, it, can you just let me know that uh, everything is coming through okay? Give me a thumbs up or do something like that, just so I know that you are watching and able to hear me and all that good stuff. Because even if I go to uh, my computer and play it, I can't. Oh, there's Suzanne. Oh, hi, Suzanne. All right. Glad you could make it. So I'm going to turn myself down. And we will get started. Oop, don't mind the messy desk. I have been creating, creating, creating. So here we I have a piece of Daffodil Delight, and that is kind of not showing up the right color, but that's just the lighting, I guess. We'll, we'll make do with it. I'm really going to start first with this Rays of Light Cling Stamp Set. This is one of the stamp sets that is disappearing with um, when the annual catalog switches over. So it's in the current annual catalog, which is good through the end of April, but it will be gone starting May 1st, if it doesn't sell out before then. So I just want to let you know that. And this is one of those, those humongous ones. I'm going to get my humongous block out that's perfect for these background stamps and mount that on and I'm going to use it upside down I'm going to be inking up a piece of basic white cardstock and let's see if I can find my yellow ink pad my daffodil delight ink pad yes it is it's right in the holder where it belongs and let's see I'm just going to do it direct. Now, if you have a brayer, you can certainly brayer this on as well. I'm just going to do this, though. My pad's nice and juicy. Ooh. Oh, let's see here. And I'm just going to kind of use the back of my last chance list to protect my, my fingers. And we'll put that... Ooh, I missed the bottom of that. Oh, well, we will... Do something different. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. So there we have that. You know what? That's kind of bright for me. I don't think, you know, this is more of like an end of summer color right here. 
I don't think I want to go that dark. So I'm going to find my stamp cleaner here. And yeah, here it is. I'm going to clean my stamp. And I'm just going to spray directly on my stamp here because it's so large. I'm going to clean it off on my stamp cleaner here. And we're going to come back in because I didn't do it right anyway. So, hey, might as well, right? We're going to do the other side. And I'm going to go with Lemon Lolly instead. That'll be a lighter color. That'll be better to use. I think I see a couple cat hairs on this, but it has a texture in it anyway, so nobody will ever know. Nobody will ever know. All right, so now I'm gonna put this on here. Make sure I get the whole thing on this time. There we go, that's better. It's just a piece of scrap paper to help transfer that ink. All right. And there we go. We have a much better version. Now, I did miss a little bit because I was trying to get it as close to centered up here as possible, but I couldn't do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim this off just a little bit so that we can get rid of that little white exposure down there. Just a hair. Oh my goodness. You know, I think I do kind of want this sun centered though, so I'm going to trim off the other side as well. Let's see. I think this is not going to be enough. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. All right. And then I'm going to, so this is, this is measuring three inches. So normally it's four and a quarter is the card front. So that's an inch and a quarter. So I'm going to take an inch and a quarter off the length. Usually it's five and a half. So I'll go to four and a quarter. You know what? I'm going to do this, though. I'm going to do a quarter off the top. So all I'm doing is I'm just putting that kind of middle of the sun where I want it to be. I'll clean this afterwards, but you saw me clean it before. You know how it's done. All right, so now we have this. I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer again, and I'm going to bring in some uh, pecan pie. Now, I already have a couple pieces cut, but I'm, remember, I'm doing two different cards tonight. So I want to have, and I just am kind of throwing all the stuff I need tonight on the floor. Great. I'm going to do two cards, and I'm going to show you them both. So I'm going to need to cut another half-inch strip. And I'm going to cut this half-inch strip. So you can see me cutting. One is four inches, and one is two and a half. I'm guessing, since I already told you this is an Easter card, I'm guessing you can tell what I'm making. I'm going to bring in an embossing folder. This is the Timber 3D embossing folder. It's got a wood grain to it. And I'm going to do all these pieces that I have. I'm going to, I'm going to just put them all in here. And it doesn't matter which way I put them, but we'll put them this way, I guess. Uh, we'll have them go cross grain. How about that? I don't think it really matters. And then we're going to run this through our stamp and cut emboss machine. All right, so we need plate number one. We need to put the fold through first. And then we need this gray plate, which is plate number four. We'll roll that right through. Oh, somebody else joined in. Who else is here besides Suzanne? Would love to say hi. You can chat it in the comments if you're logged in. All right. 
And by the way, if you're watching this on replay, go ahead and say hello on replay too. So see, here we have, an, we have, ooh, my cross is a little bit big for this. Hmm. I think what I'm gonna do is I might cut it down just a little bit. I'm gonna take maybe half an inch off of this edge here. I'm not gonna do it on my other one. The other one's gonna be a different card entirely. Well, not entirely, but quite a bit. Okay, so we just, we have our little cross there going on right there. So we can go ahead and we can put that down. Now I left my glue cover off, so I'm sure that this is pretty well stuck. Let's see if the glue can come out. I should not have left. Oh, there we go. I got it. I probably shouldn't talk very much right now. I should probably just let my actions speak for me. But honestly, it's so nice being able to talk that I kind of want to. So for those of you who maybe celebrate Easter, do you have special plans this Easter? My family, especially because I work at a church, we never get, we never really go anywhere. Um, Sunday's a very busy day for me. And uh, so, but I might come home and just like cook up some easy ham steaks or something like that. My kids, they don't really care. They, they're, they're pretty fussy eaters. So we're not gonna do the big Easter dinner kind of thing. Um, I'm going to get a piece of lemon lolly. I wasn't planning on using lemon lolly, so I don't have it right next to me. But it looks like I have a piece of Whoops. That was just my st stamp and cut and emboss machine. I tripped over. This was an afterthought. I had mentioned, um, I think last Friday or... Maybe in my Tune In Tuesday video that I was going to do something today. Well, do something this week. But I hadn't planned on being sick this week. So this kind of snuck up on me. So here's my little lemon lolly piece right here. And now I think we just need some sort of... Uh, layer underneath. So let's go ahead and bring in this color that I'm going to be using in the other card, probably this card too, and it's Highland Heather. So this piece was an inch and a quarter less than a regular size card, so this is going to be an inch less. So I'm going to cut this at four and a half. And the measurements will be on my blog afterwards as soon as I write them up. Four and a half by three and a quarter. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so I think that just kind of brings in a little bit more of an Easter feel to it. A little springtime feel with the purple. And purple is often used to represent um, royalty and um, Jesus. Oftentimes you'll see in, in a depiction of Jesus, you'll see him with a sash that's, that's a purple. And then we'll put this on here. Let's go ahead and pop it up with dimensionals. So even if you don't have Easter, you know, Easter lilies or a cross stamp, you can still make an Easter card if you want to. Now I thought in order to decorate this, let's bring in something, some simple flower. And I'm going to use the Timeless Arrangements Bundle. This one is also retiring. It comes with, well, it doesn't come with only if you order it 
comes with, uh, let's see if I can find the dies that go with it. They might have, might have been part of the crash that you heard. Hmm. I do have the dies somewhere. And, well, let's cheat. I have the flower cut out somewhere too. Oh my goodness. I had everything right here until I started cleaning up my desk. That ever happened to you? Oh goodness gracious. Well, let's just let's just do it the old fashioned way. We're gonna we're gonna stamp this piece. Let's bring in a just a scrap piece of white. Oh I know. I found my dies. They were with my die cutting machine. Because that makes a lot of sense. That's why I didn't know I did it, because I don't usually make a lot of sense. And there's the finger in the ink. Now, that's pretty juicy. Let's, let's tap a little lighter. And I'm gonna do that again, because remember I have, I'm doing this card or something similar to it twice. All right, so that's just in the memento black. You could also stamp it in a gray. Um, as long as you're using just a regular water-based pad, don't use a stays-on pad. I'm gonna bring in my Highland Heather markers, and I think I'm gonna start with just the light. And I'm gonna color the blooms on these tulips. Now I'm not using a lily because there was no lily stamp in this set and I don't actually have a set that has lilies in it. But truth be known, I don't like lilies. I mean, they're kind of pretty and there was a beautiful set that was in the mini catalog that has now been sold out. But like I can't in real life, I can't be in the same room, even if it's a huge room like um, like the auditorium in our churches. I can't be in the same room with a lily. It puts me right into an asthma attack. If I start coughing, it's all, it's, it's, it's terrible. I'm gonna bring in some Granny Apple Green. Just fill in these little leaves here. And then all we have to do is die cut those. So I'm gonna put this stuff out of the way. And let's bring in my die cutting machine again. I'm gonna cut both of them since I'm gonna have this stuff out, I might as well. Just don't let me misplace it. There's one. We're die cutting, so we'll need number two. We'll need um, a number three plate and another number three plate. And we also need our die. Now, see these timeless arrangements dies? They come with some label dies, and then they have some little strips that have the greenery on them that you can put the labels on top of those, and you have it all kind of together. It's kind of a cool set, really. And now I just need a little piece of washi tape to hold things in place. And let me get my washi tape. I'm going to de-stick it a little bit just because I don't want it tearing everything. And with this die, you should be able to see a little bit of the stem through this hole. And that's how you know it's lined up nicely. Okay, I can see the stem through the hole, so I'm gonna just tape that down there. So sometimes there are little holes to help you um, kind of poke out that die after you've die cut it. And sometimes that hole is there so you can help line it up. So if you've got a long skinny piece, or part of your die, that's probably what that hole is for. 
And so see, now we have a perfect die cut. Wow. I even impressed myself with that one. Let's see if I can do it twice in a row. I don't know if this one's going to be as good. Because of the light, I couldn't really see where I was placing it. We'll hope for the best. Carefully move this out of the way. Let's see what we got. And yes, another nice one. Wow. Great. I'm so impressed with myself. Hmm. All right, so now look, if we just kind of put this right here, it just makes it a little bit more. A little more festive, I think, right? We'll just go ahead and glue that right down. My glue is in places on the bottle that it shouldn't be. Let's see, let's just glue that down right like that. And so there we have that pretty Easter card. What do you think? Okay, give me a heart, a heart if you like it, a thumbs up, something like that. If you don't like it, don't give me a thumbs down, though. <laughs> that, that's not encouraging to me at all. <laughs> so now what I want to do is I want to bring in another card base. I'm going to bring in the Highland Heather card base itself. And I want to use some designer series paper this time. So I'm going to bring in some pieces of designer series paper from a packet that is online. So this is online only. It is the Meandering Meadows. And so we've got some really, really pretty designs here. But if you look at the back, look, that's a sky scene, which is the one I think I'm gonna use. Um, there's a bunch of other, other scenes here too on the back. They're a little bit, um, some of them are just as flashy, but they're not really scenes, they're just more floral. Let's see, we've got some grassy. This one is a really nice one too. It doesn't really go with my Highland Heather. I mean, it, you can make it kind of go, I guess, but I don't think it really goes. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to cut it down. I think I'm going to cut it down to the whole measure of the front of the card. Ooh, sounds like my voice is going, doesn't it? I'm going to do four and a quarter. My husband went to get Dairy Queen though, so I think I'll be better in a few minutes. <laughs> that cold goody goodness on my throat will be really nice. So if I put this on the front, oh, this card is not the right size. It looks too tall, let's see. Five and a half, oh, that's too tall. Yeah. Let's cut it to five and a half, like it's supposed to be. There we go, that covers the whole front. Now, if you want it to have a border, you certainly can um, cut it down a little bit. I'm gonna see how I like this though. Let's just kind of put these pieces on again. So see now how everything comes together. I think I do want a border though. So I will cut this one down. So I sort of had the plan in my head what I was gonna do, but I didn't really execute it in advance. So that's why you get me kind of fumbling around and figuring out what I wanted to do. I don't know if I've mentioned, it's Easter week, it's Holy Week it, um, this week. And so when you work in a church, it's a busy week. in pretty good shape though, I think. We're ready. A lot of churches, I assume are like ours, we double in size on Easter because everybody decides they're gonna come on Easter. 
uh, you know, um, some people just, you know, attend every other week or so in general, and, or maybe even just Christmas and Easter only, and they decide to come. And Easter is one of those days that they're going to be there. So, you know, it's double everything that you have to get ready for. It's a good problem to have. All right, now here's, here's my slightly larger cross. Longer anyways. And we're going to put the other one on. I could use a dimensional on this piece if I wanted to make it a little bit more dimensional, I guess. That looks pretty good. And then we will put this on. I think there's a bubble in this one because it's coming out when it's not supposed to be coming out. So sometimes if there is an air bubble in there, that's what happens. All right, I'm gonna just put that on there just like that. Uh, looks like I need a little bit on the bottom to get it to lay well. Now, if you wanted to put a couple of gems out here, you know, sparkling, uh, sparkling rhinestones, maybe. Let's see. Let's see how they look. Because Easter really is a celebration. Uh, Jesus is no longer on the cross. But he is now alive. Let's see. I would like to do one there. Stuck to me. It's stuck to me. here the great debate where do you put all the rhinestones on there and I'm going to stamp a happy Easter because I do have a set that says happy Easter in fact it's a retiring one which I'm kind of sad about because Easter kind of snuck up on me because you know it's in March this year and I didn't get to use this cute little bunny, and he come, has a punch that goes with him. This set is retiring as well, but I'm going to use this um, Happy Easter here. Now, if you notice, the problem with this Happy Easter is that it's too long right here. I want to do Happy and then Easter. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little piece of washi tape. And I'm going to cover up the Easter part of it. I want a nice straight line here to make it easier. Okay, and now I'm going to ink it up. Let's go ahead and ink it up in gorgeous grape. So now I'm going to do happy. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this tape off and I'm going to wash it. Wash my stamp. I'm going to wash it and dry it. going to do the same thing except for we're going to cover up the happy this time. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to take the tape off after I inked. I need to do that. Hold on. I'll do that this time. So we're going to ink it up. I'm going to take my tape off and let's see if we can line this up right where we want it. Happy Easter. There we go. So there's our happy Easter. And maybe instead of up here, we don't have our, our little gems up here. Maybe I can relocate it to down here. And then this one. There we go. Put this one. I don't want to bring it 
too far down. Here we go. So there we have our Easter card. We just have to decorate the inside. We can do that with another piece of uh, basic white. And we can take off, uh, we can take one of these pieces that we trimmed and put it down here. Keep it very simple. So you can write a message in here. So let me just do this here. Oh, Jeffrey came in. Yes, it was a very bit, a very damp day today. Very rainy, gloomy, but I didn't get washed away either. So it's all good. I could hear that we might have a rainy summer. I don't want to hear that, but I think I might have heard that. Depends if the El Nino and El Nina kind of overlap very much, I guess. But there is, there are our two Easter cards. Which one do you like best? Go ahead and put your answer in the comments. And I'm going to turn you back around to me. Let's see. Whoops. Ah, here I am. So just wanted to let you know that um, remember things that are going out. They There are some things that are going to be on sale. And um, I had sent out to my customers on my mailing list this uh, this list right here, except I, I changed it up a little bit. I took out some of the things that are you know, French and stuff. So everything that's just, you know, available for us is going to be in there. Uh, there are some discounts that start April 9th, but that's if supplies still last on those things. So um, something to be aware of. So quite a few stamp sets in the original. And there are some things that are really on, that are on great, great sales, 60% off, 50% off. So you can get some really great bargains if you wait till April 9th. Um, if there's something that you really, really, really want, stamps are probably going to be okay, but dies are starting to sell out. Uh, embellishments can sell out. So just some things, um, re-inkers will sell out for the in colors. Uh, just some things to be aware of. Um, so the other thing I wanted to mention was if you were planning on placing an order soon, and um, you wanted to place an order with me that was $35 or more by this Sunday at 9 p.m., then you would qualify for the Tune In Tuesday class kit uh, for the Tune In Tuesday that I did this past Tuesday featuring, featuring the Latte Love Set. So I hope you like that one. Have a great rest of your night, everyone. And, um, you know, have a blessed weekend. Uh, if you have Good Friday services or Easter services or you celebrate a different holiday, um, may it be special and may you really um, celebrate the season with those you love. Have a great weekend, everybody, and I will see you soon.